Hello. Yesterday I have explained you part one of reflection. And today let me explain you when we reflect a, when a point reflects through a line parallel to x-axis what happens? And when a point reflects through a line parallel to y-axis what happens? Yesterday we have discussed, in the last class we have discussed when a point reflects through x-axis, y-axis and the origin, what happens? Okay? Let P x y is a point in a plane A B is a line parallel to x-axis at a distance of A units from x-axis. That means, equation of AB is y is equal to A. Equation of x-axis is y equal to 0 and equation of a line parallel to x-axis is y is equal to A. We have taken a point P, X, Y the coordinates of point P are x, y. Now let me explain you. When this point P reflects through this line AB which is parallel to x axis. What are the coordinates of point P? For that let us draw PM perpendicular to AB. And produce it up to P dash. Such that MP is equal to MP dash. Let us take the coordinates of P dash as alpha beta. And the coordinates of M will be X and Y coordinate is A. If MP is equal to MP dash, M is the midpoint of P, P dash. We have taken P dash as alpha beta and the coordinates of M are X, A. See the coordinates of P are X, Y. So M is also in the same line. So X coordinate is X, Y coordinate is A. As M is the midpoint of P, P dash, you know the midpoint formula that is X, A is equal to X plus alpha by 2 and y plus beta by 2. That means x plus alpha by 2 is x. That means x plus alpha equal to 2x or alpha is equal to 2x minus x that equal to alpha equal to x. And let us work out for beta. a is equal to y plus beta by 2. That implies 2a is equal to y plus beta or bring this y this side minus y plus 2a is beta. That means beta is equal to minus y plus 2a. So what did we get? The coordinates of p dash v are alpha is x, beta is minus y plus 2a. You have already learned that when a point reflects through x-axis, its y-coordinate changes its sign. Same way, when a point reflects through line parallel to x-axis also, the x-coordinate remains the same. You see, p, x, y, when it is reflecting through y is equal to a, the coordinates are p dash x minus y plus 2a. So when a point reflects through x-axis, y coordinate is changing its sign. Same way, when a point reflects through a line parallel to x-axis, its y coordinate is becoming <laughs> minus y plus 2a. Okay? I believe you understood. Now let me give you an example.
Now you got the formula. When a point reflects real line parallel to x axis, what happens? Suppose A, the coordinates are 2, 3. When it reflects through y equal to 2, then the image will be A dash. You learn that x coordinate remains the same, 2 only. y coordinate will be minus y, means minus 3 plus 2 into A. Here in place of A, 2 is there. That means a, 2, 3, when it reflects through a line parallel to x-axis at a distance of 2 units from x-axis. The meaning of this is that A dash 2, 2, 2 is a 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. Clear? Now let me explain you. When a line, when a point reflects through a line parallel to y-axis, what happens? So let me manage here. Reflection of a point through a line parallel to y axis. Reflection of a point through a line. Parallel to y axis. So let me draw a line parallel to y axis at a distance of x units, uh, a units from y axis. That means x value is a. Same way, like P is a point in a plane. When this point P reflects through this line AB, what are the coordinates? Same way, how we have done for that, for uh, the line parallel to x-axis, we have to find here also. Draw a perpendicular PM to AB and produce it to y-axis. Okay? Such that PM is equal to produce up to P dash, P dash, up to P dash, such that PM is equal to P dash M. Okay? So let me take the coordinates of P dash are alpha, beta. Here the coordinates of M are X coordinate is A, Y coordinate is C. See, the coordinates of P are X, Y. So, in the y is the same line, m is also, m and p are on the same line. Now, m acts as the midpoint of pp dash. So, the coordinates of m are a, y equal to sum of the x coordinates by 2. Alpha plus x by 2 and beta plus y by 2. This is beta. That implies a is equal to Alpha plus x by 2 and y is equal to beta plus y by 2. 2a is equal to alpha plus x and here 2y is equal to beta plus y. So we have to find the value of alpha and beta. So alpha is equal to this x when it comes this side minus x plus 2a. And here beta is equal to 2y minus y that equal to y. So the coordinates of when point P x y reflects through a line parallel to y axis. The equation of this line is x equal to a. x equal to a. The coordinates of the image are alpha is minus x plus 2a. Beta is y only. You have already learned that when a point reflects through y-axis, its x-coordinate is changing its sign. Same way, when a line parallel to, when a point reflects through a line parallel to y-axis also, its x-coordinate will be minus x plus 2a and y-coordinate remains the same. Let me give you an example for this. 
a two three when it reflects through x equal to two you will get the image a dash minus x here in place of x two is there minus two plus two a value is two and the y coordinate same that means a two three when it reflects through x equal to two you get a dash two two is a four four minus two is two three two three so y coordinate is same so i think it is clear to you when a point reflects through x axis its y coordinate changes its sign when a point reflects through a line parallel to x axis also its y coordinate will be minus y plus 2y same way when a point reflects through y axis its x coordinate is changing its sign and when a point reflects through a line parallel to the axis its x coordinate is becoming minus x plus 2y and y coordinate remains the same with this reflection chapter is completed i believe you understood this if it is not clear to you please uh comment in the comment bo box so that i will be able to clear the doubts please don't forget to subscribe the channel please subscribe thank you